putting on the new mind. As brief as I can. And dare share this. Beyond some shallow religious or new age idea of this. If we could understand. That we have a totally different mind. Separate. From our fallen corner mind. That is the remedy to all this and the problems of our life. That we could put on this mind found in our inward being, the human spirit. It would not only sustain us until this mind would deliver us. If we could discover this mind it would sustain our fallen minds as we surrender its limited remedies and see this mind point us to a new body found hidden in us, ready to replace this body that will return to the dust from where it originally came from after it's finally worn out any fear of death wouldn't exist if he could do this. And this screwed up world and their six minds could not torment as they do. Powerful statement. That's from my father. Putting this mind on as we told we could, we wouldn't listen to their sick minds trying to block but this completely different mind is trying to warn us about. It is promised that we would not be pushed to the point that we could not endure. But promise that if the extreme need ever rose, that this mind would direct your path be a, a prepared way of escape. If I just quote a bunch of biblical Bible texts and living words, go look it up. Now, if we neglect this mind, the question would be, how will you escape if you neglect so great of an offer of sustainability and deliverance? You know the Bible verse. I'm not adding to or taking away from them. It's just saying exactly that. But in living words and expressing it. As I said, this is about as short as I dare to express what has taken me 74 years of my life to discover. This mind of Christ in me. It's real. This short paragraph doesn't even scratch the surface of what is found in this mind that is said to be available to all, Jew and Gentile, Paul said, don't blame me. Those with a religious understanding of this, using biblical verses, have spiritualized this to its death and cannot experience it having turned to the world's remedies and methods. Thinking that they are doing this doing what the book was warning them about, about putting on the mind of Christ. Thinking they are doing what the book was warning them about. Of course they're not. They're just memorizing a bunch of Bible verses, independent from God. All that I can say to this is, wait through your spirit, your true inward being, and listen, as long as it may take, for the Holy Spirit to unblock this clogged, carnal mind, allowing your Father, allowing this, your Father will reveal this mind found in your human spirit, empowered by your Father's spirit, beyond your fallen, limited, carnal mind mind. If you don't allow this to take place over a period of time, 
and fight this renewing of this fallen corn of mine, as we are told would occur, if you don't allow this to happen, you will be left with the limited mind that you have, thinking that you have this mind of Christ found in your human spirit based on your self-willed religious mind taught to you by your teachers of that denomination that you have chosen to follow. The only way for you to discover this mind in your spirit would be as is written, wait through your spirit, allow the Holy Spirit to start cleansing your carnal mind from what you and others thought they knew. Remember, in this mind of Christ in us is contained a total wisdom and knowledge of God waiting to be worked out of you by the Holy Spirit as you become willing to surrender what you and others once thought they knew. This fallen soul of channels of intellect and emotion were not to be your source of wisdom and knowledge. It was to have come from your father through this mind of your spirit that he placed there and which would have only used this soul and its channels to convey the will of its father and not the will of this rebel soul acting independent from hearing from your spirit and the father of this spirit, which would have then been empowered by the Holy Spirit. I cover a lot of this in a lot of my different videos. Remember Jesus said, the words I speak, they aren't my own, but my father's. Then he goes off and says, the words I speak, they are spirit in their life. They weren't carnal, mind, thoughts of just Jesus while he was in the mood of a son of man. He was demonstrating what a son of man, but Adam, the original Adam, should have done was to wait to his spirit and the Father would have unfolded to him. Moment by moment by moment, he would increase with the increase of God. But he went with his own fallen carnal mind, his rebel soul, deciding to go independent from God, believing the devil's lie. You can figure this out but with your own mind. You don't need God. He comes off of the source of information, the source of power. That's all my videos are saying. People fight this because they got some religious idea about this mind of Christ and because it's acting like, because they think they can parrot a bunch of Bible verses, doesn't mean you have the mind of Christ. You're talking about it, but you don't have it. You have to wait to your spirit to get that. So, that just adds some more to this series about the mind of Christ. God bless.